The Point Health Meritor is just three months away from unveiling a new $13 million expansion. The expansion of the Child and Adolescent Psychiatry Hospital on Madison's west side will double the footprint of the existing hospital and it will offer vital mental health services, including some that are not currently available in Madison, in a beautiful, calming, state-of-the-art, brand new space. Medical Director Dr. Katie Schmidt took us on a tour. Why does the community need something? The main driver is absolutely demand um, and the need to really improve access for mental health treatment. Um, for nine months of the year, really during the school year, we run a wait list for our services and it is really hard to say no to these kids who need help. I can't imagine if I'm a mom and my child is in crisis and I come to see you and you say, sorry, yeah. we're all full. I know, it happens a lot does actually. Does it? So, um, one of the things that's just really difficult for me to understand, and I think for most of us who provide this service, is if a kid had any other medical illness that was acutely dangerous, um, they would never be told to go home and wait. So we're in the lobby space. We are in the lobby. And seeing your original lobby, this yeah. is going to be yeah, amazing. The is. front door will be right front here. Front door, yep. And then a reception desk, a welcome wall. We're really trying to make this a comfortable, welcoming, warm experience. Yeah. This is our outpatient space. Again, some of these services are not currently available in Madison, which I think is great. So this will be a place where kids can come for part of the day or all, all day. day. Yep, so it's not inpatient. So these kids are coming for day services. So they're either coming for a four hour block or an eight hour block. The other really dream for this space is that it can be a community gathering area. So I'd love to partner with community resources, with schools, um, make it a place where everybody can come to learn about mental health. And what are the kinds of issues that you see? Yeah, it's a great question. And I think too, really draw, it really drove our expansion model. So a lot of the little kids struggle more with like uh, reactivity and aggression. And then as you kind of age up, there's much more of that depressive side, anxiety, a lot of self-harm. Many of our kids come to us after they've attempted to take their own lives. So we're dividing our unit now into an adolescent unit, like a tween unit and then a younger unit, which again, we're gonna focus more on that kind of reactive, aggressive type of intervention with them. So you can specialize the program and tailor it to yeah. their specific needs. They don't stay here very long. Our average length is about a week. So we have this small amount of time to really make an impact. This is a hospital. Yeah. But not what you envision when you think of Absolutely. when you think of a hospital. Yeah. This is not where kids are in their bed, hooked up to machines. They are out in the milieu. They're learning coping skills. They're connecting with one another and meeting other kids who struggle in the same way, which is so validating. Um, so it's truly a place where they can heal, they can learn, and then go go home with a set of tools. This is our new inpatient unit. It's not a hallway full of rooms. It's really hard to safely take care of a number of kids who have a lot of energy and reactivity in a hallway because there's just not a lot of room to move. So if you notice as we walk into the space how wide open it is. They're all private rooms, so each kiddo gets their own room. And I think the other really exciting part while we designed this was how do we give the kids space to really learn to de-escalate before they escalate? So within each wall there are several different sensory rooms or um, we like to call them relaxation rooms where they can use equipment like crash pads or vestibular rocking chairs to really learn how to self-soothe and calm um, so that they again they carry those skills with them this is something you've dreamed about for yeah. six years plus yeah to have it finally be brick and mortar yeah how does it feel for you it is absolutely surreal and I feel incredibly grateful like to resolve that wait list, to know that we're not saying no. Um, a lot of us are parents, and to know that if I had a child that needed this service, like, it's here, and if we can help provide that for these families in our community, um, yeah, I don't, I, it's hard to put words to it. I just feel grateful. So you can see in that drone picture, it's an existing, uh, it's attached to the existing right. it's hospital. it's already down here on Raymond Road. The hospital takes care of more than 850 patients a year, and the expansion also includes a lot of things we didn't get a chance to show you, a computer room, a classroom, a yoga studio, and what Dr. Schmidt is most excited about, a full-service kitchen. Mm -hmm. Right now, they don't even have a kitchen there. It's scheduled to be done and welcoming patients in October, and then they're going to remodel the existing hospital as well. Big step forward. So it's, it's
it provides such a vital service, and we're so lucky to have mm -hmm. it here in Madison because the nearest place to get services like this is over an hour away. From and as Katie said, it's bringing new services that they didn't provide before. Exactly. I was honored to MC their fundraiser this weekend, and the community raised over eighty thousand dollars to go toward this expansion. That's great. Very Congrats. inspiring. And you got a personalized hard hat out of there. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I got a little good. souvenir from the good. nice people at Findorf. <laughs> well,